Welcome to Demolition Wrench. My name is Matt, and I'm glad that you are here. So in the last video, you saw me doing a little work with this roll bar back here. Oh, uh, everything needs a little work. Hey, good morning, girl. Remolition Ranch! Hey, Remolition. Remy gave us a little scare yesterday. We thought she was sick. She was being really lethargic and not acting normal, but all her vitals are normal, so I decided to just give her a little bit of scientific neglect and watch her. And she totally got better on her own because she probably just ate a dead bird or something. And I was sick yesterday. And you were sick too. Did you and Remy both eat a dead bird yesterday? So this roll bar, it's not actually welded in or anything yet, or bolted in, it's just sitting here. Yesterday, I actually got the grinder and chopped all of the fiberglass out here so that we could get down to the frame. So what it is sitting on right there is the metal frame, but you couldn't see it because it had this fiberglass going all around it. So chopped it down, which is kind of hard, like, you know, just chopping out stuff out of my Corvette. That was the first thing we really like cut the first big thing so we have it totally sitting down on the frame now and it's ready to be bolted or welded we are going to actually weld it to the frame so it'll be super sturdy super safe the problem is i can weld and i say this i feel like every time we weld i can weld but i can't weld well so i actually invited the high school guys cb welding to come and supervise me i told them i want to do the welding but I want you to kind of teach me how to do it well. So I'm paying them to just come tell me how bad I am, basically. Interior is our plan today. All interior work. It won't be done, because we still have tons of stuff. I gotta fix all those little electric connections and relays and everything that were damaged in the flood. Um, but we are gonna put a ton of work into this interior today and hopefully get a lot done. What's up, Burke? What's up, Brandon and Cameron? How's it going? How many uh, Instagram followers are you boys up to now? Uh, 38,000. Dang, blowing up. We're using my equipment, and it's the cheapest like hobby welder you can get at Tractor Supply, because that's pretty much all I've ever done with this hobby welding, but for this kind of stuff, I definitely need to upgrade. They were just talking to me about what I can get. Yeah. Definitely not what I have. Yeah. It's ideal. <laughs> but it'll work, right? Yeah, that'll we, work. We think. So we just cut out actually a little more of this fiberglass around here. I think it's going to go a little forward. What do you think? Do you cut out any more? Um, I, I, I think it's good too. So we're going to basically clean all the paint off of the roll bar and off the frame, and then we will start welding. And by we, I mean me. Unless I'm doing a really <laughs> terrible job, and then I'll be like, hey guys, you can, you can take over. It's fine. <laughs> Frame all cleaned up, cleaned up the paint off the sides of the actual roll bar. Now we're gonna get it where we think it should go, tack it in, and then we'll start really welding it. We actually chopped these yesterday. Um, we're gonna chop them a little more. Get my uh, bandsaw and just chop those off to make it easier to weld. Try out my welder, figure out what settings we need to have it on because he's never used this thing. He's not impressed by it either. <laughs> Crank it up! That's what he got done so far. And then we blew the breaker. Um, he also was like, I don't think this thing's getting hot enough to do that thick of metal. So that's a fairly thick piece right there and that's the uh, size that we're gonna be welding to the frame of the car he's where it's not hot enough which means it won't have a strong enough bond which all we care about is not pretty we care about strong because it's a roll bar if the car rolls we want it to stay in place so he was like I don't think we should use your little hobby welder I think we gotta go get my big welder so he's gonna run back to his house grab his big truck welder and then he'll be back out here and we will do this thing for real. Stick welding, you do flux core like that oh, your other motor yeah. does. Um, 
The, your MIG stainless setting, MIG C25, that's the type of gas that we're running, a, a gas mix. Gotcha. This is a nut, still MIG, different gas mix. You can do MIG aluminum with a spool gun. You can do TIG lift arc with a remote or just straight with TIG, uh, TIG lift arc. So this is Brandon's welder. My welder had um, one knob for wire speed and one switch for high or low voltage. Not as customizable well, and adjustable. And there, this is an LCD screen that you'll see when we turn it on. You can adjust so everything you there. a whole different uh, range of settings. Much more better. We're gonna start welding with their welder. We're gonna practice on this real quick. So basically you start kind of hold it there and then really what I just call push pull. Okay. So you're gonna come back, stop, go back. Like, How far? Uh, not super far. Not super, like, I would go kind like Less that. than a centimeter. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see what you do. We'll go from there. Yeah, yellow. All right, we're doing a little practice run first. You ready? Yep. All right. I'm like, so, high. Yeah, I just saw that yeah. burn so, through, not burn through, with that hole. So, dang, that goes down fast. <laughs> you want to be more like this. Okay. You want that wire right in that in that groove. Got it. And you want it so that 50-50 is it's splitting even. Okay. That's your goal. See what I'm doing. This sounds it though, huh? Well, it looks like a big pack. Too <laughs> fast. <laughs> Change of plans. I'm not learning to weld today. My helmet's messed up. Um, it's not. It's not actually turning on. It was earlier. Now it's not. It actually sounds like I'm making excuses because I'm a bad welder. I got stuff all over this, um, which I am a bad welder. But that actually is broken. Hey, can you guys explain your pancake mask? Because in the videos, people all make fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't know that you actually want this mask yeah. for a well, reason. First of all, everybody thinks like we made them or something. We yeah, did. everybody's well, like, oh, those poor boys like have their homemade mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a pipe liner, really solid hood. It's basically, so this molds around your face. And so that way, when you have uh, external light, it doesn't come in and blind you and make a reflection. Gotcha. It's made like this, it's supposed to be like this, and... And it's because you only weld on this side of your head, right? So yes, so, because you're, if you're right-handed, you have it on your left side. Gotcha. So, it sparks them go on your ear. They have these masks on purpose. They have other masks like that too, but they yeah. choose these masks. I decided I'm not gonna land on this car because my mask doesn't work. Their masks are molded to their faces, so they are just gonna weld this up real fast. We've spent like all morning trying to get this good, and now I'm just gonna be like, fine, y'all do it, and the roll cage will be in. They are done. So I will say there was a big gap here he was trying to fill, which is why it looks like that. Same on the other side as well. But they got it all welded in. Uh, it seems seems pretty weak, guys. I would I would have probably done a much better job yeah. if I would have welded it. The, the flux core welder? Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to help these young high school boys out, teach them a few things that I've learned in my extra years. But no, they did a great job, and I'm gonna tag their Instagram in the description below. Thanks for coming, guys. See, let's get them to 40,000. Yeah, man. <laughs> a while back, we got this huge sheet of aluminum, and I asked you guys what you thought we were doing with it. Let me show you what we're gonna try to do with it. This is the door panel, and it, you, well, you used to have a door panel, this is the door. Uh, we're gonna try to make a aluminum inside liner for the door. So that's the plan. I've never actually made one before, but I think we can do it. So we made a cardboard cutout that we could put over, kind of to eyeball it, try to figure out where it should go. Uh, there's a slit cut in it here and a hole cut in here because um, there were some other parts in the store that we weren't sure if we are going to keep or not. Decided I was not going to keep that. That's for the armrest. I don't know if we want an armrest. If not, if we do, we can figure it out later. But Ground that off. Cut this little thing off. It kind of held the back of the door panel on. But we won't need it because this thing will all just be screwed on. Um, so I won't need that cut or that cut. But I think this is about the cut we need. 
So I'm gonna try to cut it out out of a big sheet of aluminum now. And then it's gonna have to bend over the top of that. So that's gonna be interesting trying to figure that out. Let's get started. Okay, that actually worked out pretty good. It's our first time using uh, this little tool right here. Did a pretty good job. Um, had to figure out it's kind of how you hold it at the angles that make it start working really well. And I had this like kind of slicing, grooving right next to it. Um, that blue sharpie will wipe right off with some alcohol. So now the tricky part of making this top part bend to fit the contour of that door. We don't have like a big bender. Um, they make them where you can just bend sheet metal all day. We're gonna have to just figure it out. Here's the best thing we got. So I got this here angle iron. I C-clamped it to this here table uh, on both sides, right on our little line that I drew where I wanna make that crease. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a, a nice, neat crease. It can just be a good bend that makes that angle, I don't know. I'm gonna just try to push down evenly. The problem with bending metal, especially like this, I can push down real hard right here, but then it might make a little crease going kind of this way here, or a little bubble or a divot, which is fine. This isn't gonna be a show car, but the cleaner I can make it, the happier I'll be. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here's what we got. Actually, I think it turned out pretty good for my first go. Um, yeah, it's just gonna look like that. And it'll be a lot more snug once we get it hooked down. Still need to cut a hole in the middle for the handle and the door lock to go through. Cut a hole up here for a switch for the power window. But that is our door panel. Let's see if I can close the door. Check it out, the door closes and everything. So it will look better once everything else is in. All the carpet and trim pieces around there will help hide our edges a little bit, especially when the doors close. I think it'll look better anyway. I like it, I like it. That little bend I put in there looks very smooth all the way down and got the driver's side in. So we have two door panels just mocked up for now. We're gonna still have to do a little work and get them all finished up. Now, we got these painted, so their welds are all painted now. There's no bare metal anymore. And now we're going to try to bridge this gap. So this is just that fiberglass that I cut. I think we're gonna try to use that same thin aluminum and just make some little panels that sit over here and then just screw them in, put a little line of caulk in there. So it'll bridge that because we're gonna have carpet over this. I know people are gonna be like, you're making aluminum door skins, but then you're putting carpet back in. This car is definitely gonna be a hybrid. Um, some fun stuff for racing, like door skins and roll cage, but then I still want some creature comforts, like, you know, sound deadening and carpet and air conditioning. It's gonna be just kinda stuff that I think is cool, like aluminum door skins, roll cages, but still gonna have a lot of the factory. Non-race kinda stuff. This is not gonna be an all-out bananas race car but it'll be a lot more race car than it was. So we're gonna start working on those brackets now. Hopefully have that done and maybe even get in carpet today. I unwrapped the roll bar Looks super good. So we have the door panels in, and then I spared you guys on this stuff. You can see I was putting that one in first, and so most of the caulk is dried. It's gonna dry clear. And then we put that one in, and then I did that one, and then I did that one. And so that white caulk will all dry and be totally clear, and we don't have to worry about it looking bad because this will all be covered with carpet. We just wanted it to have a nice, solid base underneath that carpet so it's not like sagging or ripping or anything like that. So now it is nice and hard. We have these sheet metal screws down here going into the fiberglass and the metal underneath to hold that on. And then it's all caulked all around the edges because, as you know, that goes straight to the frame, that goes straight to the frame. The frame is not sealed. I figured if we ever hit any big puddles, 
it's gonna shoot water straight up into there and get our carpet wet. Or, you know, bugs or animals could crawl up in there. And so it's all sealed now with that silicone. It looks pretty rough, I'll be honest. This is our first sheet metal job that we've ever tackled, but it will do the job and it will never be seen, except by all you guys. So yeah, like, uh, you know, 700,000 people are gonna see it. But no one will ever see it. It's totally fine. And then next, this carpet is all gonna be installed. It's the same carpet that was already in it. It's all pretty clean and in good condition. We did repaint a lot of the trim pieces like that. So that's got a fresh coat of vinyl paint on it. Looks great. So it should look really nice in there. Almost as good as new. Probably not, but it'll look, it'll look like it's two years old. Not like it's 30 years old and has been in a flood, which is what it looked like when we got it. And I got something else for you guys. That steering wheel looks very 1990, in my opinion. And I wasn't gonna show this to you yet because, well, we're not actually installing it yet, but I just, I just love you guys. So I'm, I'm gonna show you, ready for this? Amazing, just kidding, here we go. Oh yeah, look at this bad boy. So we have a brand new steering wheel. So pretty, so pretty. So soon, this steering wheel will go in here. Actually, we also have new seats that I'm not gonna show you, but they are right there. So in an episode coming up very soon, we're gonna do the whole interior. I just have to wait until all of that is dry so we don't get that all over the carpet. And then we'll get everything cleaned out and put back in here. And this car will look good from right here. Like right here. Not so much right here. Also, it's not done there yet either. What is this, part eight? Probably three, two or three more parts. And then this series will be done. Here's what just happened that you just missed. Hey, Mary, can I film what you're doing right now? No. No. Go uh, away. Was go away happened. And then, and then Jackie said, I feel like you should film this. <laughs> Burke agreed. I think um, it's gonna turn out awesome. Mary, what are you doing? I tried to make rainbow cookies for the kids. Wait, can you unroll it just a little bit so we can see the color of that one? <laughs> it looks like ground beef. It's supposed to be purple. Ellie had like hay day. <laughs> it was like, I think half of that purple dough was in her mouth at some point. That's why. Hmm. But there's your, there's I your would colors. Make these cookies if that Mary's rolling up these this cookie dough that looks like just a salami log wrapped in some biscuit mix. She's Which actually, salami and biscuits really sounds life. good to me. My kids are not in school anymore, so I have to get really creative. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop as to what these cookies look like when she cuts them up and then when she bakes them. When are you baking them? Um, I think it needs to go back in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes. Oh, that'll make all the colors look normal? <laughs> no, okay, look. See, only <laughs> we have what we have here. Okay. I love I you. Didn't have a lot of choice. You are the best. <laughs> We're back. It's been 30 minutes in the fridge, so now Mary can cut it. Let's investigate. Oh hey, oh hey Mary. <laughs> I'm not not filming anything. Don't you worry. Hey, we have to find the hiding spot. Okay, find it. Find it, find it, find it. Go, go, go. go. You know what it looks like? Really? Just look right here. Oh, A soggy Subway sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> it actually does look pretty good and colorful. They're not exactly how, like, the recipe called for, but... I think it's great. Fine. How long do they have to bake? I don't know. We'll see you in I don't know minutes. They're done? Yeah. So... They are done. <laughs> so, are they gonna be good? Do they look better? Let's see. Oh, those did turn out good. Yeah. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Uh, these actually turned out good, Mayor. They're very done. Way to go. Um, they were supposed to be rainbows. You were supposed to cut them in half. Mm -hmm. And they were supposed to have all the rainbow colors, but nope. we didn't have it's all the rainbow It's not too late. So I cut them in half anyway. <laughs> hey, since I have you two girls right here, um, all the comments in the last video are about you two girls and how you make all the same expressions that this girl makes when I talk to her. Accurate. Yep, that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> and just for the record, I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Addie, <laughs> Addie, was, Addie was sitting there next to me while I was talking and she was just like, just like rolling her eyes and making silly faces and everyone that it just like won over the comments. Like that's all they talk about is just how Addie is like being a total savage to me. Real cool. My nine-year-old just making fun of me.
Yeah, so we'll take it in. <laughs> okay, I wanted to check on the Corvette, you know, just make sure that Corvette's doing good without me. It's been a while. No, I really wanted to see what it all looked like once the caulk was dry. Not all the way dry yet. Getting there. Okay. Yeah, still needs more time. Man, it's looking better though. It's looking better. Very soon, interior will be done. Which, I guess not very soon. We still got a bit there. Within a month, for sure, hopefully in the next two weeks, this car will be rolling around on the streets. Thank you guys for watching the Demolition Wrench series of the ZR1. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>